And welcome back, my fabulous sixth graders. This is your favorite teacher, Mr. Jacobson. And I'm excited to be with you today. Uh, this is going to be the second to last uh, webcast of the year. So things are really coming down to a close. Today we're going to talk about the decline of the Roman Empire. And then next week we will talk about the official fall of the Roman Empire, how it fell, and the consequences that ensued because of its fall. So we have a lot to discuss today. I'm excited to be with you. Let's begin. So a few things we need to understand is we talked about before. We talked about how Rome had some good emperors and some really bad, cruel, terrible emperors. And unfortunately, the bad emperors were outweighing the good ones. So slowly, Rome is now going downhill. Things are starting to not run as smoothly. And one of the, the areas which they suffered, and the first area we're going to talk about, is the political and social problems. So there is corruption going on in Rome at this time. There's a serious lack of good leadership for the empire. If you don't have a good leader, you don't have a vision about where you're going. You don't have a vision about where you're going, then you're stagnant, and you—it's uh, unfortunate because when a nation has no vision, has no leadership, then nobody is guiding anyone in one direction. People are just flailing around. So that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, unfortunately, the morality of the Romans was also declining. So many government leaders started taking bribes. And so now people are feeling like they can't really trust the government officials. As problems increase, many talented people refuse to serve in the government. The more and more problems ensued, the best people who were most qualified to fix them didn't want to. They're like, I don't want, there's so much corruption and everything going on here. If, if I tried to fix it, 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 there's just a lost cause. So the real, true, talented individuals they're refusing to serve in the government now. Roman ideals of duty, courage, and honesty were being abandoned. And that's the thing is Rome became strong because the people of Rome had such a strong duty to their country, to, uh, to courage, to, to honesty, to integrity. And, and it kept the core of of Rome strong because the people inside were resolute and strong about who they were in their morals and ethics. Now the people are losing those critical uh, ideals, Roman ideals. The ideal of duty, courage, and honesty is going by the wayside which is going to cause an erosion within the core of Rome, meaning the people. Many wealthy citizens stop paying taxes. So you have a lot of rich people who are saying, you know what, government's not doing much for me these days. And uh, I think they're too weak now, so I'm going to evade my taxes and hope I don't get uh, caught. Fewer people are attending schools, so now you have a lot of people who are becoming illiterate. All they are seeking for is what? Yep, that's right, bread and games. And last, large numbers of the empire were being enslaved. And that's the thing is, if you remember from the Spartans, the Spartans got to a point where there was 80% of their population were helots or known as slaves. And that caused a revolt. So Rome, I wouldn't say is 80% at this point, but a huge portion of uh, the, the, uh, the, num the numbers in, in the empire were actually slaves. And that's a, that's a difficult situation to be in because slaves aren't citizens, they're bought property. So now we're talking about economic problems. Now there's a lot of problems in the economy going on. As government became weaker, both law and order began to break down. Trade routes became unsafe, so now people are afraid to trade because they're afraid they're going to get mugged on the roads. And so now economy, the trading, commerce, 
is uh, is starting to slow down. And when that slows down, the economy slows down because less money is being exchanged by ha through hands. Um, as a result, information could not be sent quickly throughout the empire. So again, uh, it, if they if they're trying to uh, warn somebody on the other side of the empire of a of an invasion that they heard about, it's not getting there quick enough to help them. Farmers' uh, crops were seized and destroyed by Roman soldiers and invaders. No more food to eat or sell. Hunger began to spread. So now farmers are being attacked by both Roman soldiers who are getting hungry and invaders who are trying to cause chaos and probably are hungry too. As the economy worsened, people bought fewer goods. Therefore, artisans produced less, less and shopkeepers lost money. So do you see the, the, slippery, the slippery slope? Um, the economy is beginning to fail, and when the economy begins to fail, everybody suffers. I want to make that clear. Uh, everyone gets hurt when an economy goes down. Now the rich, they, they're pretty dang wealthy, so even if they lose a little bit of money, they're still living a pretty good life. But for the, the regular and the poor especially, it, it is it's quite devastating and so shopkeepers are now losing money because artisans aren't producing shoes they're not producing um, weapons they're not producing anything that they're supposed to produce to, to for people want they're not producing because people don't have money to buy it many businesses closed workers had to leave jobs and serve in the military for wages <coughs> continuing the empire was running out of money. It was experiencing money inflation. This is a very big concept we're going to talk more about, especially in, in, in class on the first of the week. As a result, Romans put less gold into their coins. By putting less gold into each, of the gov into each coin, the government could make extra coins and pay for more things. The people soon learned that the coins did not have as much gold in them and the Roman money began losing its value. Prices for goods and services went up and many people stopped using Roman coins. Romans began to barter, which means exchanging goods without money. So a barter is pretty simple. Hey, look, I got a bag of wheat. You have peaches. Let's trade. That's bartering doesn't require any kind of coinage or money it just requires a good of some kind in exchange for another good of some kind and inflation is the rapidly increasing prices so when inflation hits it means that the money value is less which means you need more money to buy this bottle of milk which is a very bad situation to be in I'm gonna have another um, I think the next slide here, yes it is, okay. <clears throat> so this isn't totally accurate, but it's a good uh, illustration of how to explain inflation. So in 1998, for 20 bucks, as you can see the $20 here, they're saying you could buy this much of groceries at the supermarket for 20 bucks. Fair enough. They're saying in 2005, for the same $20, now you can buy this much as you can see look at the two this one has significantly more this one has less and they're saying now by 2013 which was two years ago you can now buy this much with the same twenty dollars so this this illustrates that inflation is also occurring in America at this point now, inflation can happen slowly or it can happen fast. Slow inflation uh, is something manageable, but fast inflation called hyperinflation, that's where, uh, where civilizations can, can be quite hurt from that. And Rome is experiencing some massive inflation, which is seriously hurting their economy and everybody's way of life. Let's move on to more problems. They have military problems. So the government couldn't pay Romans as soldiers. Government's losing money because, one, 
They're not getting all the taxes from the people. Remember I told you earlier, the wealthy are evading taxes. Not to mention people just don't trust the government, so they don't want to pay their taxes. They're going to try and cheat and lie because that's what the government officials do. They're cheaters and liars. The morality has gone down significantly. So government doesn't have as much money. Army couldn't assemble quick enough to drive out invaders. Less With less taxes being paid, the government could not afford to defend its territories. So now there's a huge problem because of the lack of morality, because of the uh, hyperinflation, because of people not paying taxes. Now the, the, uh, their borders are threatened. And Rome is now going to do something which uh, is quite shocking, really. Rome began paying Germanic warriors for protection. And Germanic warriors were the ones who were pretty much invading Rome to begin with. So it, they, it kind of be like hiring your enemy to protect you from a bully. Um, could you trust that person? Anyway, so so this is this is where Rome is right now. They're getting desperate. They cannot pay Roman soldiers a decent amount of money that they're used to to protect the country. So now they're paying Germanic warriors for, and these are the people who are slowly invading Rome anyway. So there's a person by the name of Diocletian, and he thought, you know what, we got to fix this. So he divided the empire into four parts with governors because he believed the empire is too big to rule by himself. In order to slow down inflation, he issued set prices for goods, meaning he said you have to sell milk at this price and you can't offer more or less merchants. People had to work the same job until death. So if you're a farmer and you want to be a merchant, tough. Emperor, em Emperor Diocletian was weak and people ignored him, therefore his reforms failed. Okay, about 30 years after Diocletian came, a general named Constantine came about. He ordered the sons of workers to do the same jobs their fathers did. So he said, you know what, not only are your fathers going to work until they die in the profession that they first chose, but sons have to work in that same one because we have to make sure that there's enough merchants after, these pe after their fathers die. So if your father was a farmer, you had to take over the farm and become a farmer. If your father was a merchant, had to be a merchant. If your father was a soldier in the uh, Roman military, you had to be a soldier. Uh, he also moves the capital east to Byzantium because the city of Rome was declining. So Constantine saw that if Rome isn't where it's at anymore. Rome is so uh, inundated with government bureaucracy and and government programs that it's just it's everything is sucked dry nothing else um nothing is working like it should there's corruption uh people are are lazy they're they're they don't really care about their country anymore they've lost their patriotism and so he moves the whole empire capital to byzantium and he calls the new capital constantinople here is a now a picture so we have the Western Roman Empire. This is Rome right here. Okay, Rome is still all conquered. Look at, you know, they all have it around the uh, Mediterranean. But at this point, it's breaking up. So Rome will be ruled from here, and slowly there's going to be a detachment between the East and the West. So I made a, a, a rap about, uh, about Rome and I was going to share it with you. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. So let me tell you the story of the Roman glory that rose like a mall but soon would fall. Caligula was an emperor. He really liked to party. Of course, he was lazy. He was probably always tardy. And then you got Nero who accomplishes zero. Like a glutton pig, he cared about no one. Rome's in decline faster than a zip line. No money and no posse to get Rome's back. Germanic warriors now threatening the borders like a red-headed stepchild. Rome got beat. A broken home like a smell... A smash up iPhone never to work or function again. But Rome lives on like a living icon through buildings and art found on the street.
word. So uh, that's a poem I made up a long time ago for my kids to help them understand a little bit about Rome's uh, initial uh, decline and fall. So go ahead and uh, write your summary. Looking forward to discussing this with you at the first of the week. And until then, be safe and we'll see you.